Here are some notes on the bicuspid aortic valve and some associated complications. The bicuspid aortic valve is the most common congenital cardiac anomaly, and it's present in about 2% of the general population. In patients with a bicuspid aortic valve, they have two cusps instead of the normal three cusps. The normal three cusps are left coronary, right coronary, and non-coronary cusps. In the bicuspid aortic valve, you have a fish mouth opening or an elliptical opening on your midesophageal TEE. Uh, shown here is the fish mouth or elliptical opening. Major complications include valve dysfunction. You can have aortic stenosis, aortic regurge, and it usually develops in your fourth to fifth decades of life. So even though you're born with bicuspid aortic valve, you might not develop an issue until you're uh, many decades later. Aortic complications can also result. Ascending and aortic root dilation can happen. You're at five to 10 times higher risk of aortic dissection, and you have an increased risk of aortic rupture. You are also predisposed to infective endocarditis, present in about 2 to 5% of patients that had a bicuspid aortic valve on autopsy. Genetics, there's a strong genetic component. It's likely autosomal dominant with incomplete penetrance, and it's found in 10% of first-degree relatives. Most patients remain asymptomatic until later in life when valve dysfunction or aortic complications develop. Uh, again, this can develop in the fourth or fifth decades of life.